Hey everyone, it's Ali, and as we've been pushing further and further into Season 1 of Last Epoch, a lot of people may have noticed that getting to Rank 9 and Rank 10 of Circle of Fortune is actually quite a grind. What I wanted to do today was make a video to talk about how to boost your reputation gains, while at the same time, if you are Rank 10 and you're just simply farming for favor, how to get yourself substantially more favor per hour by just simply changing your mindset on how the reputation and favor can be farmed very quickly. So. If we were to very quickly talk about Circle of Fortune, the main thing to keep in mind here is that each of these ranks require more and more and more reputation than the previous level, and this is going to be exponential. That means that rank 9 and rank 10 are going to take substantially longer than the rest of the ranks combined. Now, reputation is simply just gain for killing monsters, but the other thing to keep in mind here is that spending your favor also gives you reputation at a ratio of 2 to 1. That means if I were to spend 100,000 favor, I would immediately just gain 200,000 reputation, which is going to be the gateway for everything we're going to talk about today in terms of leveling, and at the same time, all these tips are going to be useful for just gaining more favor overall if you are ranked 10. So favor is gained in one specific way, and that is just through experience. The more experience you gain, the more favor you gain, meaning that we can cheese this a little bit to just maximize the amount of experience we gain, even at level 100, greatly boosting the rate at which we get favor. Now, there's going to be two main things I want to talk about today. The first one being is a node I don't think many people really understand how OP it is. And that's going to be the Tomes of Experience Echoes. These, once you finish them, are going to give you three Tomes of Experience. And these Tomes of Experience are going to give you experience proportional to your level. And this works even at level 100. Currently, if I were to do one of these Tomes of Experience nodes, I'd be gaining somewhere around 10,000 favor or so from them, making them highly efficient at earning a lot of favor very, very quickly. The other thing to keep in mind here as well is that these also work with the level 5 Circle of Fortune reward, the 35% chance of double rewards from monoliths. That means I just have a 35% chance every time I do one of these nodes to instead of gaining around 10,000 favor, to just immediately gain about 20,000 favor. On average, that means that the level 5 reward is worth around 3,500 favor per one of these experience nodes I actually do. Now, to add on to all this, there's another way for you to actually maximize your experience, and that is simply just going and pushing higher corruption. As you can see here in Reign of Dragons, I currently have a 990% increased experience gain modifier at 914 corruption. The further you push into it, the more exponential it's going to get and the harder it's going to scale, meaning I'm currently gaining 10 times more experience than someone who would instead be doing empowered monoliths with zero corruption on them. With all this, pushing corruption is effectively the best way for you to actually increase your favor gains, meaning the harder you push, the more favor you get, which means the more favor you can spend, which means the faster you level. Now, the caveat about all this that I want to mention is that this increased experience gain does not specifically work on the Tomes of Experience. These are completely not affected by it. If they were, this would be a little bit broken. So while these Tomes of Experience are really good and they do keep up with your corruption scaling quite well, once you do start approaching over a thousand corruption, I would say that the Tomes of Experience kind of mellow out and in comparison to just the raw experience you gain, they aren't really that much better. So to put all this together, that effectively means the best way for you to gain favor if you're already at level 10 and the best way for you to get reputation and favor if you're not a level 10 already is to one, prioritize all the Tome of Experience nodes and two, to just keep pushing the highest corruption you can possibly do in a single zone, which then just by default gives you more experience. Now, there is one final thing you can add on to all this to augment your experience gains even further. And that is specifically to come over to the Fall of the Outcast monolith and to specifically change your blessing over to the Increased Experience Blessing. This at a grand in Empowered Monoliths can roll up to 10% increased experience gain. And as far as we know, this is multiplicative. The gold blessing that is also available in Fall of the Outcast that just gives you more gold is multiplicative. So we can use that to extrapolate that this one should also then be multiplicative as well, meaning at a max roll, you're just gaining 10% more experience. Now, this doesn't work on the Tomes of Experience, sadly. This only works on the raw experience that you gain. But if you were to look at it in my case, where, for example, I have 990% increased experience, getting 10% more on top of that is only going to get better and better and better as I push higher and higher corruption. Realistically, there's no other good blessings for you to get in Fall the Outcast. There's a few other decent ones for idols or for additional uniques, but just due to how powerful Circle of Fortune is, and to how powerful prophecies are, having this as experience is the best in slot blessing you could possibly put in the slot, just due to favor being more efficient than any other blessing could possibly be in the slot for giving you more loot. And the beautiful thing about this is it's also just utilitarian because it's going to give you overall more favor, which you can spend on whatever you want. For example, you're having a blessing here that gives you more idols. With all that put together, cuties, I hope you have a little bit of an easier time pushing to rank 10 and at the same time just farming favor in general. And I think if you just simply 
Remember to keep prioritizing the Tome of Experience nodes wherever you can see them. But that will by itself boost your reputation gains when you go and actually spend the favor that you earn by quite a lot, making the grind feel substantially smaller. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the description below. I'll be more than happy to help you as soon as I can. I also stream on Twitch every single day, so feel free to come by Twitch and just ask me a question there. Or if you just simply want to come and hang out with all the cuties and be a part of our community, I'd be more than happy to see you there as well. With all I said, cuties, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next video.